Hi everyone, my name is Mohiman and in this video, I'll show you how you can easily learn miles from Word but let me tell you something that if you are intermediate or advanced Word user then this video is not for you but if you are getting started on Word then this video might help you okay without wasting any time let's do it whenever you open your word document the first and the most important thing is the proper layout of your document in layout i mean paper size and margins so if you want to change the size of your paper just go to layout select size and the default paper size in word is letter you can change it to tabloid legal a3 a4 a5 mm, but most of the time we use a4 paper size so i'll just select a4 and when it comes to margins the default margins for top bottom left and right is one inch you can also change it to narrow which is 0.5 inches for top bottom left right moderate wide mirrored and you can also select your custom margins by changing the top bottom left and right say for example i want to change the left margin to 1.25 inches and just i'll select ok so now my left margin is 1.25 inches after layout the second important thing is font font size and font color if you want to change the font of a single word just double click the word or if you want to change the style of your entire paragraph just triple click the paragraph or if you want to change the font style of your entire document just press ctrl plus a so to change the font size just go to the font and click on the drop down menu and select whatever font you like and to change the font size again click on this drop down menu and select your desired font size to change color of your font just hover your mouse to this a and click on the drop down menu and select whatever color you like say for example i like this color for my text if you want to change the formatting of your entire document say for example the text the text size or color and you want to revert it back to original just press ctrl plus a and click on this clear all formatting as you can see that my document is in its original position now i have compiled the list of countries which are located in asia india pakistan china japan and bangladesh and i want to convert them into bullets i'll just select the list of countries and hover my mouse to the bullets and press bullets so you can see that the list of countries are converted into bullets and now i want to convert them into numbers i'll just again hover my mouse to numbering and click on the numbering now the list of countries are available in numbering from 1 to 5 say for example i want to mention the name of the cities of the country in a multi-level list so i'll just select the countries and hover the mouse to the multi-level list press this and i have current list the list library and in list library i'll choose this option and press here now i want to add the name of the cities which are located in india i'll press enter and press tab so the first name is delhi mumbai and i want to add the city of pakistan i'll just press enter and press tab and which is lahore karachi and so on so you can see that the word itself created a multi-level list for India which is 1 and 1.1, 1.2 and for Pakistan which is 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 and so on. So from home now we will move to insert tab. Actually there are tons of things you can insert into your document but today I'll show you how you can insert tables, pictures, page number and equation into your document. So there are three ways you can insert table into your document. So to insert a table, just go to insert a table and click on add a table. So one way to add table is like this. And the other one is go to insert table. You can mention your number of rows and columns and press OK. And a third way to insert table is to draw a table like this. now i'll show you how you can add pictures in your document just go to pictures 
and insert pictures and click on the insert pictures there are also three ways you can add pictures into your document from your computer this device stock images and in stock images we have images icons cut out people stickers and illustrations and the third way to add pictures is from online pictures and let me tell you something that the online pictures in word is powered by bing now i'll show you how you can insert a page number in your document just hover your mouse to page number and click page number and you can add page number to top of the page on bottom of the page so i'll choose top of the page and play number two format as you can see that the word adds the page number to the header of my document say for example if i want to start my page number from page number three so i'll just double click the header i'll go to page number format page numbers and start at three and i press ok so you can see that now my page number is starting from page number three I have a dedicated video in my channel in which you can insert page number to a specific portion into your word document. So now I'll show you how you can insert equation into your word document. Just hover your mouse equation and click on this drop down menu. As you can see that these are very complex equations but we want to add a very simple equation. So I'll just click on insert new equation and in equation tab I'll choose this fraction and from this fraction i'll choose this stacked fraction and in the stacked fraction i just press one and two and here is your simple equation so from insert tab we will move to our design tab and in design tab i'll show you how you can easily add watermark select the color of your page and add borders and shading of your document to add a watermark just go to watermark click watermark and in the watermark i'll choose this confidential one i can also custom watermark so i'll again go to watermark and click on custom watermark so in watermark i i can change the language the text font size and color so in the text i'll type my name and press ok so that's my custom watermark to remove a watermark just again go to watermark and select remove watermark so if you want to choose a different color for your page just go to page color and select whatever color you like and you have the option of more color in which we have standard and custom and say for example i'll choose this color and press ok so you can also add borders and shading to your document to add border or shading just go to this and click borders so i'll choose the box and in the box i'll choose mm, this so you can have a preview of your border in your document and just press ok so you can see that the word inserted border in my document after design we will move to references because i have already covered the layout so let me tell you something that the references tab is mostly used by the researchers but i have a dedicated video in my channel in which you can easily insert table of contents in your document so pause the video and go watch my table of contents video last but not the least i'll show you how you can save your document you people already know that but that's a drill for you so to save your document just go to file and click on save as you can save your document to your cloud storage but for this video I'll save this to my PC and I will name my file and now I am saving this to my documents you can save any way you want and just hit save so you can also save your document into a PDF format so just again go to file click save as and in the drop down menu select PDF and select whatever utilization you like and just hit save okay that brings us to the end of the video thank you so much for watching 
I hope you enjoyed my mini tutorial. Please like the video. If you have any question, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you want more tutorials like this.